Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today we are gonna organize and declutter my little makeup, hair, everything Vanessa drawer. So I'm a bit embarrassed to say, but I don't think I've actually cleaned this in maybe a year. As you can see, it's very dirty. So we're just gonna go through it. I'm gonna organize what I have. I'm gonna declutter because I have too much stuff. I think yeah, almost every girl or boy, anyone can relate to this. I love makeup, I love playing with makeup, so I have too much. So I'm simply just gonna take everything out and then wipe it down real good and real scrub it away because sometimes this makeup stuff just gets everywhere. So you have to do some scrubbing, put your elbow into it. Or what did you say, elbow grease? I don't really know. <laughs> so I go in with the um, like a spray first and one cloth and then I like to go over with a completely dry cloth just to make sure I get every single dust particle hair whatever is in there and I'm also wiping down these storage containers or what you say that I keep my makeup in because they were so dirty yeah i'm picking and choosing what i want to keep i'm cleaning it off trying to organize this organize it as best as i can and if you're wondering what that paper thing is it's <laughs> Once I put my setting spray on, I use it to dry my face. It looks disgusting. I know I have to find something else I can work because that's quite nasty, actually. I'm thinking of actually transforming this piece of furniture because if you've seen my last video, I can link it down below. It's a clean with me. Most of the furniture in my room is like a dark wood color. So I was thinking of maybe doing like some decor wrap thing so I can take it off. Um, that maybe have like a black marble pattern thing to make it fit in more. Because right now it doesn't really, the only white thing I have is the bookshelf next to it, but mm. You know, I've had it for like many years too, this furniture. So it was nice to just change it up a little bit. And yeah, so it feels like you're getting a whole new drawer, but you don't spend that type of money at all. So I'm thinking of doing that. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm definitely gonna film it. So keep your eyes out for that if you're interested in that type of stuff. And if I choose to do it, So I actually figured out, and you're gonna see it soon, that I can put, combine what's in this box and put it in the first, um, not box, first drawer too, like it will fit. Um, because it flows more nicely like to me to have all my face products like that in one drawer. And as you'll see when I come down to the other drawers, like it's very, very cluttered. So. I wanted more space, so this was actually really good because it created more space. So as you can see, I'm not too good with the decluttering part. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, I'm always like, I'm gonna use it sometime. This might be good, this one shade in a palette that has like 50 shades, I might wanna use it sometime, but you know, small steps, small steps. <laughs> So what I like to do, I like to do just simple piles when I declutter. So here you see that I'm putting um, some stuff that I want to throw away and most of the stuff I want to keep. So I'm just putting it in piles and creating, yeah, just easier for me to see. Like I can just 
take everything out, look at it, and just go through it real good. Am I the only one, or do I just have, like, I have so many lipsticks, but I rarely use, I have this one staple lip look that I do, so I don't know why I'm keeping all of this, but you, you know, I also love makeup, it's a passion of mine, so I like to just play around with it sometimes, but, like, outside, I mostly just wear one look, so... <laughs> And these containers are very dirty, so I started with the most clean one and then I put the other one to the side with the spray in it to let that soak real good um, to make it easier for me to clean them because you know there were lipstick marks, there were mascara marks, all that type of stuff that is quite hard to get rid of sometimes. So um, yeah, I just let it sit one by one and then I just organized the products, products how I think is best for right now I don't really like these containers that I have but right now I don't have an option to buy new ones and it works just fine the way I do it um, you know you just have to do the best with what you got Also in this video, can we not mention my nails? Like I'm, I'm trying. I don't want to have like gel nails anymore, but I don't want to go to the uh, salon now with the Corona time. So I'm just letting them be by themselves until they fall off. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a funny clip. The mascara just escaped from me. <laughs> Isn't it just so satisfying watching something just get completely like just rub it away, <laughs> rub it away. I just find it so satisfying those type of clips when it's just like one swipe and almost everything is away.
so this was the main drawer that was like chaos I just stuffed things in there so I really needed to declutter this organize it in a good way I'm I'm not fully satisfied with how it's organized now but it's better than it was at least but I think I want some other type of system for like like containers to organize it because right now it's it, it's not really great and these drawers too when you pull them out they it's like they kind of hard I don't know if they have some type of like maybe child proof so it's not that easy to pull them out because you have to like do it with a little bit of force and then things just move around like crazy fly around like crazy in them when you open and close them so as you can see this container I was struggling so so much with that it's um, I just had to do the best I could do because some things just didn't want to go away And also, I think I need some type of other form of jewelry storage because this is not optimal. But I don't really like the ones where you hang them up like that are standing. So I'm gonna have to think about that. At first, I was quite unsure and like I didn't really know if I wanted to show this, but then I thought it's life. Uh, I feel ashamed because it's not normalized. So. This is not that I'm hoarding um, female products, menstrual products. Um, I actually have something called PCOS. And if you don't know what that is, it's a syndrome. Everyone has like different ways it affects you, but I'm having a lot of trouble with my PCOS and having an uh, irregular cycle. So I always want to have a lot of products on deck so it's not that I'm hoarding in these corona times or that I'm just a hoarder but I can go through these packets maybe faster than um, I don't want to say normal people <laughs> I don't really know what to say but like someone that has a very like regular cycle that follows the same pattern but I always want to have stuff at home so that's why I have that many products and I feel like no one really talks about PCOS at least not here in Sweden where I am maybe it's different in other places in the world but if you want to know more about it and my story because I haven't I've had quite trouble with my PCOS throughout my life so I can totally make a video if that's something you're interested in just let me know and I'll do that for you But thank God we made it through. I think this took me like a solid 45 minutes because all these little containers within the drawers were so dirty. So that took a lot of time and scrubbing. But thank God we're through. We're just cleaning the whole drawer up and the things that are put on top of it. And I can finally show you the after look. So I organized it the best way I could with the, or the best way I think I can with the, um, with the boxes and organization containers I have. Um, I wish that I maybe could buy something else, but you know, you have to work with what you have. I don't really want to put money on this right now. Um, like right now, living in the student room, I don't really want to put money, that much money on decor or anything because I'd rather save up for when I live in my own apartment to make that really my own. 
So I did the best I could and I'm pretty happy. Let's see how long this lasts, you never know. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it turned out. So I just want to say thank you so much if you made it to the end and if you did please don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!